This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2023 uh, Salem Cruise Light Platinum model, model 263 BHXL. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how uh, how it works. Now there's a uh, obviously we're still cleaning it, so it's a little dirty, but we're we're, we're working on it. So these are the quick drop um, stabilizers now. So the neat thing about them is you can drop them into place and then and then tighten them up to stabilize it how you want so um, you have those plus these are the low points for your plumbing okay you have a power awning with LED strip um, this is just for a, a sprayer to hook up to which comes with it this is the fresh water fill for your um, for your uh, fresh water tank, it's almost all, nine times out of ten, you're going to just use the city water hookup, obviously. But if you're camping someplace that does not have plumbing on the campsite, you can uh, fill that and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the switch for the um, water pump when we get inside, okay? This is the vent for your range hood. Remember, if you're going to be using the range hood fan to vent to the outside, you want to free up this baffle. Otherwise, you can just snap it shut. You have a TV signal out plus power for a TV set. Uh, what else have we got here? Okay. Here we have a um, refrigerator and then a griddle here. Now the griddle, you have to plug in here. So it's already plugged in right there, as you can see. This is the LP line, I should say, we're plugging in. And the other end of it goes right to that quick connect right there. So you always have to plug that in before you use it, obviously. Um, another quick drop stabilizer. Okay, and pass through storage. We'll, we'll look at it from the other side. Okay, so you have two uh, LP tanks filled with an automatic changeover regulator. You've got a deep cycle marine battery, and there's the kill switch for it right there. Um, power tongue jack, and of course, if this ever fails, you can pull this plug and crank it manually if you need to. Okay. This is your sprayer I told you about. This is your dump hose here. That's a reducer to reduce your, your short cord down to uh, 20 amp if you need to. Comes with a 30 foot 30 amp power cord, which is right here. There's your dump valves, two uh, gray and a black. Okay. Now, when it comes to the black, if you, uh, after you dump it, you can leave the valve open and hook the hose at the dump station right on there. And you can actually, um, flush it out with the uh, with the um, hose from the dump station you can clean off the uh, sensors flush it out generally speaking it's a good thing to do of course this is a city water hookup that's the most common way to get water to the trailer this is your water heater never uh, it's right now it's empty and it's bypassed because it's winter time so never run it unless you have water in the tank that's very important okay so when the springtime comes around, you're going to make sure you put it in the, correct, the valve in the correct position and you're going to fill it before you turn it on. Uh, that, that housing tells us it's pre-wired for a Furan backup camera if you want to add one. Also while we're looking up, the manufacturer states you should inspect the roof every, every uh, 60 days or so. Make sure there's no cracking or separation anywhere up there at the sealant. Make sure there's no damage to any roof attachments or uh, roofing material that's done by low, you know by low branches things like that low debris okay this is this bathroom obviously can be accessed from the outside without running through the whole trailer which is a good thing okay let's go inside where hopefully the heater is working oh, I hear music anyway okay all right, so this does have a solar panel. So 
This is your solar controller right here. What it's telling us, it's flashing, if you can see that, to FUL and back to 13.6 volts. FUL, and when it's flashing like that, it's telling you that the battery's full. It means that the solar panel is not sending any more energy to it because there's no place left to store it, okay? But as soon as that drops, it's going to stop flashing like this, and you would go to amps. That's right now it says 0, 0.0 amps are being gained uh, from the sun and, and put in the battery. That's only because it's full. Once it drops, it'll change to whatever, depending on what the conditions are outside. It could be 4.6 amps, whatever. Um, so you get that, uh, and that's from pushing the button, this upper button once. Push it again, you get amp hours. And then 13.6 volts is what you have in your system. Keep in mind that, that all that stuff will register correctly once it stops flashing FUL. Uh, and to get it to stop flashing FUL, you just have to use some of the energy in your battery because there's just no place left to store it, okay? All right. Uh, slide out switch and power awning. Never leave the power awning out unattended. To, to turn on your water pump, to pump water out of the fresh water tank, which we spoke about. Um, you want to uh, uh, use this switch here. This, this, this pump is also used to winterize the trailer, so keep that in mind. Um, water heater on gas, you're just going to flip it on like that. It does run on electric. In, if you go inside the, the black cover on the outside, if you take it off the lower left-hand corner, there's a rocker switch. You'll turn that to the on position, but you don't turn it on until you've, until you've uh, put the valves in the correct position for camping and you've filled the tank. It's important or else you'll damage the, the burn out the heating element. So you want to definitely uh, make sure there's water in it. Um, when it comes to your levels right here, they're self-explanatory. Here they go up in one third increments as it fills, as they fill. Okay, so your fireplace has a remote. Let me adjust this, has a remote. So you can shut it off, obviously. You can turn it on, obviously. So, if you look at that, it says zero, zero, then it says low, then it says high. That's the fan speed. So now it's really kicking because it's on high, right? Um, the other buttons you push, you can change the look of it a little bit. There you go changing the crystals to different colors. Uh, you can also change the fire a bit. Blue, more fiery color, whatever you want to do. Okay, and also there's a timer on it. So you can set the timer to uh, turn on and shut off uh, when you want it to. While I'm down here, I just want to show you this is where you would hook, you're going to hook your TV set up to, your TV coax cable, right, if you put one up here. Um, when you do that, you want this, you can shut this light off if you want, but you want it on. It's the digital signal booster for the antenna, so you want to have that in the on position when you're using it. And I just want to show you this here, this plate says it's prep for Wi-Fi uh, extender. So basically, you can go to kingconnect.com and look and see their different products, but on the roof of this trailer, there's going to be another port where you can hook up an antenna. So the extender would consider a, would consist of an antenna and then a router that would fit right here, right? So um, if you, there are different models, but I don't know what they offer. I haven't looked at it in a, in a little while, but always get the one if you're going to get it with the antenna on the roof and the router that sits here. That's the way to go, okay? All right. That's if you're interested. Just like with the backup camera, you know, some people love them, some people are indifferent, so. Okay, so this is the remote for your sound bar here. The sound bar plays FM radio, no AM, just FM. Um, it has Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. You got a USB here, so you can put all your albums, let's say, in one USB drive and take them with you. Uh, this is an HDMI, this is an in, so it goes into the system. So if you wanted to set like a portable Blu-ray player here and go into the system, you go right in there. It makes it real simple. Um, you have two speaker zones, one and two. One is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. So you have all that and more. 
of course the TV there's backer plates here so you would you would get a swing out bracket the best one to get I mean you get people get what they get but if you want to spend the if they're a little more pricey but if you get the scissor type which you can bend into any position plus get the one that locks into place when it's retracted that's the one to get that way you don't have to put straps on it or anything like that to hold it in place while you're traveling and it's very very flexible so um, if you can get one get 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 that heavy-duty one otherwise you know whatever you can whatever you whatever you think will work good is good but um, it, you, if you don't have a way to lock it in place you have to put straps up okay alrighty so I'm not seeing the keys here yet I'll have to go mention to them because normally we just put them right on here so I'll mention it to the guy who's prepping it okay all right, so um, this is your, uh, your, obviously a microwave, works like any other microwave. This is the range hood here, and uh, it has a light, of course, and then it has the fan. Remember I told you if you're venting to the outside, make sure that baffle on the outside is flapping freely. Uh, you have your range, which works like most RV ranges. Um, oh, yeah, still got a clean in here, obviously. Just but he has, just hasn't got that far yet so okay so you have a sparker here turns, you turn it clockwise to spark it then you have three knobs for the three burners then this one's for the oven so let's see if he's got the gas on there you go it's that simple um, for the oven it's a little different all the way at the bottom all the way to the back there's a pilot light okay um, so you go to the oven knob, you go to the picture of the flame, which means pilot light. Then you depress it, and you keep it depressed. Then you light the pilot light. When you see it light, uh, you hold it for another 10 or 15 seconds until the thermocouple heats up. Then you can go to operating temperature, and it cycles as an oven does. But then when you shut it off, the pilot light goes out. So you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Okay, and then you have a light down here and a ambient type blue thing there the magic blue light okay you can always travel with this in the down position too so it doesn't break okay so let's go to here this is your um, carbon monoxide LP gas detector right here it should always be green if it's not get it serviced um, if it goes off it's detected carbon monoxide buildup or LP gas leak so make sure uh, if it happens you go outside take everybody outside leave the doors open uh, shut the gas off at the front and then figure out what's going on because it's important it should always be green if not get it serviced okay this down here is your power converter so this converts AC to DC power okay so inside you have um, regular one, 110 AC circuit breakers and they're labeled. So when you're plugged into shore power, this is sort of like your distribution center here. Um, then it takes that 110 AC and converts it to 12 volt DC on this side. So you have 12 volt fuses here and then you hit, they're all labeled. Okay, that's all 12 volt. Also, when you're plugged in, this will sense how much energy your battery up front needs and has and it'll always keep it charged so when you're plugged in this charges your battery this power converter charges your battery obviously when you're pulling down the road your tow vehicle's alternator charges the battery and then the solar panel is is always charging the battery too now you can add more batteries keep that in mind the more batteries you have the more storage you have uh, just make sure when you, if you do or whoever does it for you they wire it to at 12 volt you don't want to double the voltage you just want to double the storage capacity so that's always an option for you down the road pantry 12 volt DC refrigerator okay this works on 12 volt DC and it has a compressor in it okay your thermostat is very simple you just hit the mode bar keep hitting and it goes scrolls through all the options okay the shower and sink are pretty much the same as any other shower and sink this is a GFCI here. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI, even the one on the outside. So if you're using something outside, outside that pops, well, you're going to reset it in here. Your toilet 
has a flush pedal and the black tank is directly below. Okay, so that's antifreeze there. Um, what you do is you, you um, what, when you get to the campground your black tank is empty because you've already dumped it. So when you pull in there you hook up your power and your water, right? Then you come in here, you put one dose of chemical right in the bowl, then you're going to step on the pedal and water comes swirling out and put at least a gallon of water in the tank along with the uh, chemical. Uh, you can use more water if you want, but not less, so at least a gallon and you're all set. You can't use it dry. If you don't do that, the smell will be terrible, plus it can get clogged up and cause you problems. So you always want to make sure you got chemical and water in there before you start using it. Okay. This, uh, all right, so your sofa here, this is a jackknife, so it can jackknife flat and turn it into a bed. You can pull this piece out and configure it in different ways, right? You can take the, the legs, the posts off the table and drop the, the table top onto these cleats here and then use the cushions to fill in the space. So you really have two, two beds here, right? And then you've got the two bunks and two auxiliary beds here. And then of course the main bedroom is up here. And um, if you, you can pull up the bed at, at the foot here and there's a, some storage underneath it. You can hang a TV bracket here and you got hookups there for TV. Uh, that's the emergency escape window. So you're in good shape there. So let me see if I've forgotten anything. I think this keep in mind this is a dimmer. So you just rub your, your thumb over it like that, you know, and uh, it'll go on up and down. Alrighty, so let me see here. Looks good, looks good. Okay. So I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please remember, remember what I said about inspecting the roof. That's important. It should be a regular part of your maintenance. You're protecting your investment, keeping ahead of things, so make sure you inspect or have it inspected. Um, right now this trailer is winterized, so all the, all the water has been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze. And the water heater itself is bypassed and empty right now. So um, it's set for the, whole, for the winter. Once you get towards camping season and you dewinterize it, make sure you change the valves on the back of your water heater to the correct position and then you uh, fill it before you turn it on. Okay? Thank you.